Hello everybody over there at Street Line Productions. So Tom's asked me to make some tutorials for him so he can post them up every Thursday I believe. So my first tutorial is going to be on Photoshop and Cinema 40. As you can see I have Cinema 40 open right now with a logo that I created. This is going to be my logo for my YouTube channel and that's pretty much it. So you guys can call me Panda, Mitch, Coos, I really don't mind. Um, so let's get started. So I've made this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to export it out so I can open it up in Photoshop. And how you go do that? You're just going to go render, render to picture viewer. You have to also edit your settings in render settings. But if you want to know how to do that, just head over to my channel and look at my um, tutorials playlist, and there's a tutorial in there for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this into Photoshop. It's going to open up like that, nice and nice. And as you can see, it doesn't show up with the black background because of my settings on Sim 4D. And as that sits there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer. Duplicate. You can also go Control J to duplicate. I'm going to pick the bottom layer. I'm going to rename this Shadow. I don't care if I spell it wrong. I'm going to put this one as EA, just so I know it's at last. And as the Shadow, I'm going to go Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, change the lightness down to negative 100, and that's going to make the whole image black. So after that, I'm going to go to Filter, and I'm going to pick like a blur. You can do pretty much any of these. I'm just going to go with this one, because it's the nicest. I'm going to leave it at 29, because that's just what I like, because all of these images are 1280 by 720, I believe it is, because that's what my settings are. I'm going to duplicate that one more time, and then I'm going to go Control e which merges the two layers, and leave it like that. Okay, now I'm going to bring in a background image. Now all these images that I'm going to be using are all from graphics packs, so they're easy for you to all access and I don't have to send out any photos or anything. So mine are hidden away in here somewhere. Now this one that I'm getting, is, this is from um, my friend um, Vertigo Arts, he's in my sub box, oh Vertigo, Vertigo Design, sorry. He's in my sub box, so check him out, he's a cool guy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just scale down this photo so that the looks correctly and the brightness that you can see in the middle here is all in the all right in the middle so there's a shadow around the edges and then the brightness is in the middle which kind of punches out the the EA so I'm going to drag this layer down right to the bottom layer so that the shadow comes through and as you can see that's already got a, a nice effect looks like it's sitting on the wood so after this we're going to want to maybe put some texture on the letters so I'm going to go into another graphics pack that I have, which is hidden in here somewhere. Let's just go for a quick look, shall we? All right. So I'm back. Found them, finally. I was in the same graphics pack that I went to first. <laughs> oh, that was silly of me. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this grunge one. I don't know why, but I just think it looks nice. Alright, so a little trick that I've figured out. So you're going to drag it over and see, oh, that looks pretty crappy. So we're going to drag it, pull the layer so it's completely over the text. And we're going to go right-click and go Create Clipping Mask. You can also go um, Layer. And it will say create clipping mask. See that release? It releases it. So we go, we go layer, create clipping mask, create clip. So you can see it kind of doesn't look 3D anymore. So we're going to want to go to here and we're going to go overlay. See it puts the lines in there, makes it a bit darker, a bit brighter, sorry. And we're just going to change the opacity so it looks a bit, a bit better. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to add some actual sparks in here. So I'm going to want to actually change. The color because I don't think sparks look very good with green. So I'm going to change the color from green to an orangey color. There we go. See, that's a nice orangey color. Looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to go back into my files. Sorry if this takes me a while to find again, but I have a lot of photos. I'll probably fast forward this part up the game as well. Uh, maybe not because it would be in here. And we're going to go into sparks. Alright, so we have some sparks here. I'm going to choose these sparks. No, no, I'm not going to choose those sparks. Sorry, guys. I 
believe it is. Please make this what I'm looking for. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so we're going to drag this over to here. And see, black background, not very nice. So we're going to do use another trick. So up here again, we're going to change it to screen this time. And it just removes that ugly as black background. And I'm going to scale this down by pressing Control T. I didn't tell you that guys that last time. I'm just going to put it in there so the, the point of this box kind of is in the bottom and I'm going to go like that. I'm just going to duplicate that a few times, give it some brightness, maybe two more times, and then those last two layers I'm going to flip horizontally, which you, which you press Control T and then you're going to right click and press flip horizontal. I'm just going to move it around like that, give it some randomness because I don't exactly want it to be exactly the same as the other side. So see that? Got some sparks in the background. They're not both there. All those layers aren't very centered, are they? So I'm just going to drag, move that over, adjust it a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. I'm liking that. Alright, so maybe a little shine or something. So we're going to go back to another graphics pack, which I have. Note that I don't do all my work off graphics packs. I just am doing it off this so that I can show you guys easy enough. So we're going to go back into this one. I'm going to get a flare. Because flares, they like give a nice shine. I don't know why I'm, I'm not putting heaps in this one. I like flares, they look quite nice, but I'm not going to put heaps in this one because it's kind of not exactly a, a flare kind of thing that I'm making. So you're going to want to drag this all the way to the top layer so it goes all the way across. I'm just going to stick that right there. You can stick them wherever you want so you can duplicate it and, you're gonna, and you might want to drag one and put it down there. See, I'm liking the look at that already, so I'm just going to leave that like that. We might might need some smoke for the background. Actually, no, I'm not going to put smoke in the background, so I guess. But I might put a little burst of fire. It's not, that's not correct. Burst, does it matter? Alright, so... I might just grab this. And just pop it onto the background. Using the same trick as I did last time. Change it to screen. But this time I'm going to drag it all the way to the back. Something like this. No, 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 no. All the way to the back. That's it, that's it. See now I might put that in the middle, maybe maybe we might even scale it down and just put it so it looks like it's sitting on the effect of art cycle right in the background right there. See that's looking pretty average, might make it a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger so it pops out the side. Yeah, so like that. See we've just got a little bit of fire. And there's Jelly Hydro. Right, so that's pretty much that guys. And maybe if this is what I do if I have a nice um if I have it like that and want it to have a nice grunge text on it, but also want a little bit of a grunge background, go back into another graphics pack. I've already been in this one actually, but we'll go back and look, go pictures, and then I believe he's hidden it somewhere in here. Oh, I've lost it again, haven't I? Oh well, I'll just go back to textures. And I used, uh, I believe, a two. this one that I'm going to use again, but I'm actually just going to drag it, I'm, going to, I'm actually going to rotate it first to it somewhere, nice landscape angle, pop it in the corner, I'm going to drag it out, drag it down, and then I'm going to drag it out, just just to fit the background, yeah it looks stretched, but it doesn't matter at this stage, drag it, give the fire back, and we're going to overlay this, see, gives it a nice grungy look, doesn't that look cool? I like it. I like it. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if it's pretty simple as tutorial, and but that's what I wanted my first tutorial to be. So that's pretty much it. Um, hope you enjoyed. Check out my channel, and thanks, Tom, for letting me post on your channel. Later, guys.